What's up, JT Gunner here, and I'm back with another episode of The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. And by another episode, I mean this should be the last episode. So, all we gotta do left is fight Ganon. So, let me check my, uh, oops, wrong button. I, I can continue to never get the buttons right. That's always remained true. So, actually what I am gonna do... I'm going to release this fairy. Fuck. Wrong button. X. There we go. Release the fairy. Heal. Cool. Um. Then I'm going to go into the house. Because there's a heart in here that I can use. Alright. So now I'm at full health. So now I'm going to go to the potion shop real fast. So I'm just going to call upon my trusty bird to fly over there. Number two. There we go. Go over here. Alright. So I'm gonna buy a green potion. Yep, medicine and magic. Then I'll use that green potion, fill up my magic meter, then I'm gonna buy a blue. Because we're gonna need that blue potion. That's gonna be kind of important for the fight with Ganon. Alright. So now what we wanna do. Go ahead and just equip my bow and so. Wait. I shouldn't equip that yet. I should equip my flute. Because now I'm going to work back to Link's house. And then... From there, we're going to travel to Hyrule Castle, because if you remember, that's where the gate to the Dark World is, right in front of the Pyramid of Power, where Ganon is hiding. So, we're going to do just that. Hope you guys are doing well, I hope you guys are hyped. Hope you guys are ready to fight Ganon. Still a little tired, but uh, I really need to... I really need to record, so... We're gonna do this. I should be able to fight Ganon. I should be in good enough shape. I know some of you have expressed concern that I might be too exhausted. Uh, I'm just a normally a tired person. But yeah, okay. Let's get ready. Let's get hyped up for this. Ooh, ooh. That looks very inappropriate when I do it like that. <laughs> Let's go. Pull on the statue. Okay, enough screwing around. Dive right in. All right, Ganon time. Don't know how long this will take me. There he is. I never imagined a boy like you could give me so much trouble. It's unbelievable that you defeated my alter ego, Aganim, the Dark Wizard, twice. Ooh. So was he really Aganim? I know there's a lot of theories as to what he means by that. Um, some people think that Aganim, you know, really is Ganon in disguise. Some people say that. By Alter Ego, he means, like, a close associate, and a Ganon was just a pawn or something. Ah, I guess it doesn't matter. But I will never give you the Triforce. I will destroy you and make my wish to conquer both light and dark worlds come true without delay. Alright. So now he's gonna throw his trident around. I don't remember. Do you... No, not yet. I forget how you do this. Oh yeah, you just slash him with your sword first. You don't have to worry about shooting him with a, um, silver arrows. There we go. He kind of does that little move for a little bit. There we go. Oop. Don't want to run into Ganon. To kind of be careful. There we go. Oop. There we go. Alright, what's he gonna do? Still teleporting with his trident move. He's got more moves than just this. There we go, like the fire. Oop, gotta be careful. Oop. Yeah, I'm kind of not being careful with this fire bat move. There we go, yeah. Oop. There we go. go. There we go. Land a couple hits. Gotta be careful. Oop, oop, oop. There we go. Alright. Now just run away from the bats. Alright. Oh boy. Oh, he hit me with the bat. See, so he lost his trident. Okay, yeah, now he's gonna do this. It's gonna make some of the panels of the floor disappear. And you don't want to fall down the uh, gap because um, then uh, it's not really good. Oh boy. Already dead. Alright. Got two fairies and a blue potion. 
It's alright. Damn. Gotta be really careful. Of course, befitting for a final boss, Ganon is pretty hard, so... I'm just trying to concentrate, so... Yeah. He's gonna make the edges of the floor disappear, and you don't want to fall off because... It'll take you to a lower part of the pyramid, and then you kinda have to start the fight all over, and... Yeah, like, all, all of your progress gets undone. You are doing well, lad, but can you break through the secret technique of darkness? On guard! Alright, so what he's gonna do now is he's gonna make the room go dark, and now you can't see Ganon, so what you wanna do is light the torches, and now you can see Ganon. And of course, the torches will extinguish after a while, so you kinda have to keep an eye on that shit. Okay. There we go. There we go. Now he turns blue. Use your silver arrows. Shoot him. There you go. That's pretty much how you do it. Like, you'll be stunned when you reignite the torches for a little bit. Oop. Alright. Oh, God. There we go. Oop. Teleported away. Fuck. There we go. Alright. Alright. Oop. Oop. Get back over here. There we go. Alright, silver arrows. Alright. I don't know how many more times I gotta do this. Oh boy. Okay, fire rod. Like that. There we go. Blue. Shoot an arrow. Oh, I beat him. Wow. That was super fast. But yep, that's it. That's the fight. Oh man. I did really well. I thought I was gonna... You know, die a couple more times, maybe accidentally fall through that little gap in the floor, and have to restart the fight. Guess not. Well, tell you what. Oh, I can't access my menu. I can't. I can't heal. Oh well, doesn't matter. It's the end of the game. <laughs> oh wow, I did it. Welcome, JT. I am the essence of the Triforce. The Triforce will grant the wish in the heart and mind of the person who touches it. If a person with a good heart touches it, it will make his good wishes come true. If an evil-hearted person touches it, it will grant his evil wishes. Hmm, interesting. The stronger the wish, the more powerful the Triforce's expression of that wish. Ganon's wish was to conquer the world. That wish changed the Golden Land to the Dark World. Hmm. Ganon was building up his power here so he could conquer the Light World and make his wish completely true. Oh. So that's what was going on. But now, you have totally destroyed Ganon. His Dark World will vanish. The Triforce is waiting for a new owner. Its golden power is in your hands. Alright. Now touch it with a wish in your heart. And then there's a piece of the Triforce, making that iconic shape. Alright. And you know Link being a good boy, he's gonna make the world a better place. The Return of the King, Hyrule Castle. Yeah, you don't really see much of the king. He's just sort of disappeared by the time the game starts, but there he is. And there's all the maidens, plus Zelda. The Loyal Sage Sanctuary. Oh, he revived the sage. Yeah, I don't remember the exact ending. Yeah, I know that, um... You know, he restores the king, so I think he just brings people back to life. It's a Hasrullah's homecoming. Oh. The Sahasrila was in hiding in the beginning, and now he's just able to just return home. Vultures ruled the desert. Is that what Link wished for? He said, I want a bunch of vultures flying around. And there's a totally normal guy who totally isn't a thief. The bully makes a friend. <laughs> I like... Now they're, now they're buddies in the light world. Like, yay! 
We still look ugly, though. You didn't fix their faces. Your uncle recovers. So there's Link's uncle. Back to life. Or maybe he was never dead. I don't know. Sort of ambiguous. Flippers for sale, Zora's waterfall. Now the Zoras will teach people how to swim. For a price, of course. What was it, 400 rupees or something? It was pretty expensive. The witch and the assistant. Making their smelly potions for all the world to buy. Twin lumberjacks. And they're chopping down the tree with that stupid expression. Like, oh, <laughs> chopping down trees. <laughs> Flute Boy plays again. Flute Boy and his dad, he's no longer a tree. The Venus, Queen of the Fairies, from the Wishing Well. There she is. Gonna give you more bombs and arrows. The Dwarven Swordsmiths. You know, just forging swords, I guess. Bug catching kid, he's over his sickness. Wow, and there's the guy that runs away from you. That kind old lady who knew you were innocent this entire time. And he's got a bee. The lost old man. But is he lost? That's what I want to know. Seems like he knows where he's going. The forest thief. What about him? He steals your money and bombs and stuff. <laughs> and the Master Sword sleeps again. Forever! And Link leaves the Master Sword in its pedestal. Seemingly having lost all of its upgrades, so... Yeah, who knows. Alright. So... Yep. Um... That's it. That's The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. Um... It is, honestly, a fantastic video game. Um... If you haven't played it, you know, what are you waiting for? It's it's honestly one of the greatest games ever made. One of the best games on the SNES. One of my personal favorites. Um, the reason why I chose to play this game and sort of skipped over Zelda 2 was I have actually played this game multiple times. As I said in the beginning, the first episode, um, I've owned this game uh, across many different platforms. You know, I... My introduction to this um, game was actually from the Game Boy Advance port, um, A Link to the Past Four Swords. Um, that was the first time I played A Link to the Past, and then, you know, I played... Um, I played it on the Wii Virtual Console way back when. Ooh, screensaver. That's sort of the SNES Classics thing. Um, if you leave it alone, it'll darken the screen, sort of like a little screensaver. But anyway, yeah, it's like... I played this on the Wii Virtual Console, um, I eventually bought, like, a actual SNES cartridge when I got my SNES, um, and then, of course, I played this on the SNES Classic, so, yeah, I mean, this game's pretty much on everything. I'm pretty sure it's on the Nintendo Switch Online service among the SNES games. I'd be really surprised if it isn't, because it's, like... I mean, this is one of the landmark Zelda titles. It's like if you if you like Zelda and for some reason you haven't played this game, you really you're really doing yourself a disservice by not playing this game. You should really check this game out. It's honestly it's honestly amazing. Um, it's a fun game. It's got great gameplay that still holds up pretty well for the most part. It's got great visuals. It's got a great soundtrack. Um, yeah. It's, it's really good. I really can't sing 
this game is praises enough. It's really fun, and honestly, I love the fact that I was able to play this on YouTube, um, play this on my channel for the world to see, just sort of sharing this experience again, just being able to express my love for this game. It's really, really cool, and it's really, really fun, and, um, yeah, you know, every now and then I'll pick this game up and play it again. It's been a long time since I played this game last all the way through. It was probably 2016 or so. Um, I played it on the SNES. Alright, quest history. What is this? Is this how many times I game overed? Or how many times I died? Or what was this? Or is it how many times I, like, stopped and started again? So it's like, Mountain Tower 1, Dark Palace 1, Skull Woods 2, Ice Palace 1, Turtle Rock 1, Ganon's Tower 1. Yeah. So, I guess it's saying seven times, I, that's when I booted up this game, and... I'm sure that number would be bigger if, um... I was playing on an actual SNES, because... You know, I did, like, use, like, uh, the SNES classic save states to sort of save my progress and resume again between recordings. But anyway, yeah, I guess that's the end. Um, I don't think it's going to fade back to the start. Okay, well, it's going to be a really short episode, but, you know, just wanted to save the Ganon fight for the end. I didn't know how long it was going to take. If I knew it was going to be brief, probably would have added it at the end of the previous episode, but, uh... I didn't, so... Anyway, I guess... I guess it's still okay, because, you know, it is the final fight with Ganon. It is the, uh... You know, last episode, so... Give the final fight its own episode. But, there's really no point in talking and continuing this any further. This game's done. Uh, next up... I don't know what I'm gonna be doing next. Um, because I'm doing Star Fox 2... With this game, as well. And, uh, that's gonna be wrapping up soon, so... Gotta make some plans on what games I'm gonna feature next. Actually, I did record one game. I'm gonna keep it a secret now. Not really a series, just something I did for fun. But I'll let you guys know what I do next. So if you would, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, click that notification bell. Share this video around, it'll help me out a lot. And I do appreciate you guys supporting me and supporting the series. Definitely gonna play some more Zelda games in the future. Um, definitely want to play, like, Ocarina of Time, and I want to play the Link's Awakening remake, because, um, Ocarina of Time is another game I've played a lot, and Link's Awakening remake, um, I've actually played a lot of it, but I've never played it all the way through, so I'm sure that'll be fun to feature on the channel. But that's it, guys. This is The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, fantastic game, and I am JT Gunner, and I will see you next time. So I'll see you later.